Hey there, Workflow folks. Today we have four brand new text formats I'd like to walk you through. So let's get right to it. The first one is code blocks. And the way we create code blocks in Workflow is we go to the start of a line, we type three back ticks, and it'll turn that line into a code block. And we can then also either continue to write in this line or paste our code and it'll give it that format. We can also create code blocks using the slash command slash code block or slash code. We hit enter, and that's another way that we can create uh, code blocks. And if you're writing inside of a code block, the way you exit from that format is by simply hitting enter three times. So let's say I'm writing right here, none. And then I want to stop writing the code block. I just hit enter two more times. And now it's back to a regular bullet. And we also have a brand new search operator for code blocks, which is is colon code block. And then we can also type some text and it'll search through all of our code blocks for that text or for that code. The next format we have is inline code. The way we'd use that in Workflow is we select the text that we want to format, the text format widget will pop up, and then we choose inline code. And as you can see, we also have a keyboard shortcut to do that if you prefer. Next, we have block quotes. And the way that we use them in Workflow is we go to the start of a line, we type the greater than sign, and then hit space, and it'll turn that entire piece of text into a block quote. We've also added a search operator for block quotes, so you can find all these in your account. And that is is colon quote, and it'll filter your account and show you all your quotes. And last but not least is strike through. So we simply select the text we want to format. Again, the text format widget will pop up and we'll select strike through. And strike through also has its own keyboard shortcut. And there you have it, four brand new text format options for Workflow. And as always, be sure to let us know what you think about the feature or anything else you think we should know in the comments below. I'll see you in the next one.